The drama continues between the 18th and the 21 after their incident in San Diego with Jason Anderson now publicly putting Jet on blast for his antics and how his camp handled the situation after the race, which will not improve the optics of the 20-year-old just three races into his first 450 Supercross series. Let's break it down in this Rotomoto React brought to you by O'Neill. you up to speed really quick anderson and jet battle for fourth and multiple laps in the san diego main anderson rides very defensively with jet getting increasingly frustrated starting to try to force passes at some point you can see anderson getting agitated as he begins to look back and ride even more defensively which seems to have upset jet as he wanted both of them to just race forward the 18 calls anderson over after the main and they start jawing jason appears to put a finger in lawrence's face which jet responds by grabbing the chin bar of ando's helmet which does not go to plan as El Hombre grabs Jet by the helmet and jerks him around much harder. The 21 rides off, with Jet left on the floor upset about the situation, with Honda personnel before going over to Anderson's mechanic to air out his grievances. Post-race, Anderson does not talk about it in an interview secured by Swap Moto, and Jet makes no statement to the press, but does launch an apology on Instagram, saying, Tonight, I let emotions get the better of me. I let myself down in the heat of the moment. I'll learn from this, and my apologies to Jason Anderson, it was on me. I'll pay your fine ama supercross send me the invoice and per your request free passes to the fan zone for the season sorry mate of course the fans have been buzzing about it since but it seemed like we were ready to move on and get ready for a2 before anderson dropped some heat of his own on instagram in a post on tuesday morning saying Okay, so first things first, my man Jet comes at me after he passes me and beat me. Barks in my face, I bark back. After the race, you have his dad, Honda guy, coming up and apologizing. You have his agent call saying sorry. He will put a post on Jet's page saying sorry. Employee text me sorry. I didn't take it personal. Like a shit happens deal. Like we are cool and it didn't happen. Not a word from Jet himself. Instead, unfollow and silence from the dude everyone is apologizing for. We live in a day where kids throw a fit and stand behind everyone for the media cleanup crew. Guys don't keep it real or take responsibility for themselves. I'll take full credit that I am a dickhead often, but you bet your ass I'll consistently be a dickhead to you if I feel that way about you. The King won 72 races and kept it 100 till this day. Jet will be amazing, but he will never be the King. 71 to go. Obviously not the optics the Lawrence camp is looking for, and the classic Anderson is about as degaff as you can get. We all knew this was coming to some degree, as there are way too many bad dudes in the 450 class that have no reservations about punking on the 20-year-old generational talent and the first ever SMX champion. Moving forward, it will be interesting to see if Jet and Honda try to keep tempers from flying, because it clearly is not working out in their favor, and with guys like Anderson, Barsha, Ferrandis, and even Vince Freeze on the gate, I don't think the racing is going to get any easier for the Phoenix. Phenom. Let me know in the comments, do you think Jet or Anderson should have handled the situation differently or are you just happy to watch the sparks fly? Be sure to drop a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel for more breaking news and analysis like this. Thanks as always for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.